Hi, so we're back in Autodesk Inventor 2021, and we're going to take a look at the emboss feature for 3D uh, writing 3D letters onto things. So let's go ahead and start a 2D sketch here, and we're going to um, we're going to create a uh, a cylinder, um, and that cylinder is going to be whoop, it's going to be uh, four inches in, di in diameter. Okay, uh, and dimension in and finish sketch. And then we're going to go ahead and extrude it. And that extrusion is going to be six inches. Okay, and zoom all to, to view. Okay, now so we can kind of take a look a little bit better. We're going to change our um, material. Okay, so we have our, um, we have our, uh, um, shape that we want to emboss onto. Okay, so this is a case where we're making raised text on a 3D object here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create that um, that text. Okay, so, so we have our 3D object and we want to put it on this curved surface. Now it would be easy enough to put it on a flat surface. All we do is do a start our 2D sketch and then apply it to the um, apply it to the surface. Um, but in this case, we need to go ahead and make a plane. Okay, so so we're going to go ahead and make a work plane. And so let's go ahead and open up the origin. We're going to kind of select the origin plane that we want our plane. The plane we're going to make is going to sit on the surface of the object. Okay, it's going to be tangent to the curved surface on this cylinder. Um, but we need to select the, the origin plane that is parallel to the plane that we want to apply. Okay, so we're going to click on open up origin by clicking the plus next to origin, click on YZ plane. Then we're going to go ahead and click the plane tool. And notice now that we, if we go kind of near the surface, it's going to give automatically give us a plane that is tangent to the surface and also parallel to the origin plane that we selected. So let's go ahead and click. And now we have our work plane. So notice that we come kind of straight on, we can see that it's tangent to our surface. All right, so uh, um, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, and create some text. Okay, so um, so we're gonna go. We're gonna start a two D sketch by clicking the start two D sketch. And then we're gonna uh, mouse right over. Notice when we go inside the plane, it doesn't highlight. We have to get right on the edge of the plane. There, you see that. So we're gonna go ahead and click. And now I'm doing a two D sketch inside the plane. Let's go ahead and create our text. Okay, I'm going to kind of make a text box right there on the surface. And, and YOLO, that's going, to be, that's going to be our text. Um, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK and let's see how we did there. All right, well, notice that our text is um, upside down, right, and backwards. So the easiest way to fix this is actually just to click on the text box in the corner and click and drag it down. So notice that now when I drag it, kind of a if a you know kind of mirror it over over an imaginary line there, it, it turns. Um, it basically fixes itself, and then I can just click. Notice how I get the the um, it'll highlight. I can click and drag that back up where it, where I want it to be. Okay, let's go ahead and edit it again. So I need to highlight. I need to highlight the word I'm editing. Double click it. The next thing that people have a problem with is that uh, that basically they go back in and they change the size of it. So they want to make it bigger and they change the size and click OK and nothing happens. Okay. So in order to change the size of the text, we need to double click, select all of the text that you want to change the size of. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna actually change the um, the uh, a font also to impact, and then we're going to change the size of it. So we're actually going to change it up to 0.5, then click OK. Okay, so it got bigger, but not big enough here. So we're going to double click it again. We're going to highlight it again, and we're going to change it up to uh, one inch. Actually, let's do two inches and see what happens. There we go. Nice and big. Okay, so here we have our word that we want to emboss. And so we're going to go ahead, now that we have our text just the way we want it, and notice it's right there on the, uh, on the, on the object, we're going to go ahead and finish sketch. Okay, and now we are ready to emboss. So let's go ahead and click emboss. 
we're going to select the profile we want to emboss. Okay, and this, this works for any profile, any enclosed 2D space, but we're just using text as an example. So we select our text um, and notice that we're gonna go then ahead and click wrap to face. We're gonna select the face and whoops, we're gonna go ahead here and select our, um, our cylindrical face. And then we're gonna go ahead and the depth, now the, now we can make it stand out from the, from the object or to go into the object and we'll show both here. So the depth we're gonna go is a uh, 0.2, click okay. And there we have it. Now to show it better, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the work plane and, and uncheck visibility. Okay, so that is our, that's kind of, kind of our um, final thing there. Um, if we wanna make it cut in rather, rather than go out, we can double click it and we can just uh, select inward and notice that then it makes an impression into, into the object that we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change it back just for personal preference here. And that is it. So that is how we do an emboss in Inventor. Best of luck.